Are you looking for love? Uh, yes, unquestionably so. I don't want to be alone. I want to find someone. I haven't dated in 33 years. Uh, you could imagine I have to kiss many frogs to find the right guy. <laughs> nope. Everyone is different. Correct. Whether you're on the spectrum or not. We are, however, all looking for the same thing. Respect, understanding, and a whole lot of love. My autism affects my social interactions. We're going to Google date topics. Do you see this in bold right here? The stakes are so much higher. <laughs> Through this process, he might find love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my ideal partner would be somebody who can depend on me. We want to depend on each other. To have a lovely lady, that would be an absolute dream. Sometimes it can be challenging to find someone who doesn't write her off based off a diagnosis. Here I go. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> you okay? I'm nervous, too. I think you are so hot. <laughs> I got the giggles. What are your dreams? My dreams is to meet somebody. Whoa. And I finally got to meet you, and I think you look cool. I like her so much. This is so fun. You're my lion, and I'm your lioness. I really like how you hold my hand. Cheers to us autistic people that are coming over leaps and bounds, now possibly finding love. <laughs> what do you want to do in the future? Imagine what you and I do if we go have an adventure. <gasps> Seeing from the heart and from the soul is much more important, and I think this is what true love means. It's going to be a new chapter, yes! Welcome to Meet the Biz. I love this. We're very excited to have one of the Emmy nominated um, performers here. One of the reality stars for um, Love on the Spectrum, uh, Mr. Steve Spitz. I've known him for a while now, and he's just an amazing man. The beautiful, I, 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 you know, sometimes people say he has such a beautiful heart. He has a beautiful heart and such a big loving heart. Um, and I'm just gonna bring him on because I've been excited. <laughs> I've been excited for so long now. Here he is, Mr. Steve Spitz. Oh my gosh. Wow, David. How super to see you again. Oh. My Gosh, it's been a little while, but it doesn't it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. I know. I mean, time is like just first crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh my gosh. She, are you still living near the Fairfax area? Fairfax. Um, you know, I used to uh I used to live near the Fairfax and I moved back with to the family home for a little while during the COVID session. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Okay, um, right, right. But I do, I am visiting LA, so. Ah. And you know what, I have to say something. I, my family has never been watched, I can't say the word, been watched, binge watched a show together until your show. <laughs> no kidding, oh my I, God. Right? I was sitting there and and mom mom came in and she sat there and we sat there, what is it, for six hours? Because there's like six episodes, right? Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> I think so. And then my brother, Daryl, came in and he watched too. Oh, no kidding. My goodness. How neat. Boy, I haven't seen him in a while either. I know. We have to, we'll have to hang out again soon, you know, for another birthday party or something. There we go. That's right. Oh, I, my gosh. I love it. Well, I have to say, I, 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 I have to say that it is such a joy to have you here. And oh, I mean, the success that has come to you, I mean, uh, you just shine. You shine when you're on the screen. You know, oh my. Uh, we we uh, the people watching go, and I'm getting a little verklempt here because you bring so much joy just by being you. Oh, that's so kind of you to say. It's gee, it's almost hard to believe. Uh, well, 
it's true. It's true. You just, you bring, by being you, by being honest, by being real and showing your love is helping to heal the world. Oh my gosh. Gee, you know, I think I get those things from people who are like you. I think you bring it all around. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Hey. And as Captain and Tennille would say, love, love will keep us together. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. So I have a question. What is it like, and congratulations, what is it like to be on an Emmy nominated show? My gosh, it's um, almost hard to completely take in. Uh, I know uh, that people are approaching us. Uh, that's happening. And uh, even that alone is sort of like, oh, wow, it's nice to interact with everybody. And they say wonderful things. They talk about how genuine we are. And uh, it is very nice. It's, it's I, I didn't think that this show was being watched by so many people. I had no idea. And it, it is a very overwhelming uh, thing for me, for a lot of us. But, but it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I, I almost can't even believe that it's real. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's real and surreal and it, it brings it all back together. And it is the focus, I guess, what you're saying too. It's overwhelming, but then we just breathe. We take that breath in. Yes. Thank you, David. Right? Thank you. That's right. I think I need to take the big giant breath. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think we all need to, everybody, we have so many wonderful students and, and fans and friends uh, here today. So we're, uh, why don't we just all take a big breath? We'll all do it here. On the count of three, a breath in and then a, a, a breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. You know, there was a song by that group called Bush, yes. the husband of, uh, of um, Gwyneth Stefani, oh. Gwen Stefani, right. and he had a song, I think it was called Breathe In, Breathe Out. Oh my gosh, I can't hear. sing it, but it kind of goes like this, breathe in, breathe out, <laughs> and he keeps repeating it. It's a good song. I wish I could sing it, but. Well, I don't know. You've got an amazing voice. Oh, listen to the way you are. Oh, oh my God, you're just buttering me up. <laughs> By the way, I have, I'm going to ask you, a, 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 I'm going to throw out a word, and I'd love to see what comes to your mind. Oh, sure. The word is love. On the spectrum. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Aren't you great? I love that. So now define on the spectrum. I think what it, what it might mean is yeah. that all of us in one way or another are on the same exact page, but in slightly different ways. And I think we all connect no matter what. We're just a little bit different than the next person right. and or the other. But that's perfectly all right. That's what makes us go around, makes wow. the world go around. Uh, and I think it's great. I didn't realize it until, you know, pretty recently. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always had a funny feeling that something in my case was different but i i didn't express it i think i wanted to sort of think that i was able to fit in with other people but you know what if i'm being honest with myself right. i'm not exactly uh, i'm not exactly 
like everybody else. I, I know we have a lot of things in common, but I guess being on the spectrum, uh, from what I'm feeling inside, is um, that we have certain things in common, but all of our differences also are connecting very beautifully. I, I feel it when I watch the program. Uh, I relate with each and every one of those people. I might be a little bit different, but uh, even still, there is a very special something there that they have that I'm connecting with, for sure. That's why I'm drawn to it, because well, yeah. I'm okay. one of them. There's no question about it. Well, we might differ a little bit, but there's that something there that we have in common, and we're all on that spectrum. We are. We are. So, that, you, you, you hit it. You, 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 you seem to nail it whenever you're speaking. You, and I, I think I get a little too emotional because I so connect to what you're saying. And what you said that we all are on the spectrum. I mean, to me, I mean, you, you hit it there with me. I mean, when you were saying really? you, felt a, you felt a little different. Um, yes. And I felt different growing up. I mean, for interesting, all different reasons. Yes. But still, it's the spectrum of humanity. Right. There we go. Yes. Thank you, David. Exactly. It really, really is. And um, mm. it's nice to discover it now because I often go back in time throughout my life and uh, thinking about different experiences, meeting friends, and then thinking deep down inside that in reality, I'm not quite like they are but I wanted to have friends, so I would do whatever I thought I could to fit in, but it's not always a great idea to try and become somebody that I'm not. Uh, it doesn't work. Right. It right. just doesn't work. You just have to come from you and be that, you that's rather right. than try to be someone else. That's right, exactly correct, David very very correct and i like the way we connect i know correct connect <laughs> <laughs> wait that's that i, I just see a, 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 a what is that a hashtag or something for you or, or you could put that on a shirt oh right <laughs> that's right isn't that funny like you that. and i start to speak I words you. come to our brains and letters and sounds oh my gosh I love moments like these. Me too. When we're really connecting. When yes. people are really like, um, by the way, what, you know, for you, what is, what is one of your favorite things to do? You want to laugh? Uh, believe it or not, the very thing that you and I are doing at the moment is right up my alley. Playing with letters, sounds, words, even people's names and just trying to create different uh, sayings. I love this and it happens organically. It, it's not like I'm really planning it necessarily, but for some reason or another, my brain is drawn in those areas. And I think it always has, as a child also. I didn't always express it in front of other people, probably because I thought, uh-oh, what are they going to think of me? I'm weird. But no, now <laughs> I'm embracing it yeah. right along with you. Right? It's, this, it's the embracing self. There, I like that. Oh, I do too. Nice and warm. Okay, everybody. Brace yourself, especially during this time that we're like, 
Uh, we've been inside, but we're starting to get outside and we're putting our toe out there. It's like, just know you're hugging yourself. You're giving yourself love. There we go. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, David. This is collaboration. I tell you, like you said, the, the, the words that come to the mind, the, the, the feelings. Um, yes. And, and talking about words and your voice, which is like, this voice is like, I mean, you love doing voiceover work. Of course. Why not? And that, now where did that come from? What, is that connected to the growing up and loving words and sounds and all that? Do you know something? I think you're correct, David. I think you are. Uh, I remember as a child, when I was going to school, I was doing so very poorly in just about every subject. And I would play around, goof off in front of my friends. And then I was having grades that back then they called them, believe it or not, improvement needed. My report card had numerous uh, grades along those lines. And one time I was in class in second grade, I was seven years old. And I wasn't paying attention as I, as most probably, I think most of the time I wasn't, my mind was wandering, uh, probably messing with somebody's name or doing something along those lines. And uh, I heard the teacher mention to the class, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she said, we all know that Steven Spitz is not the greatest student in this class. And I thought, uh-oh, now what, I, what did I do wrong? I was sitting quietly at that moment. I didn't know what, what the problem was. And she added something that I didn't expect her to, do, to uh, add. And she says, but I have to say one thing. Whenever he gets up in front of the class, and talks about a current event, he has a way of projecting his voice so that everybody could hear. And it would be nice if the rest of you would follow in his footsteps, only in that one way. But I thought, oh my gosh, that was a compliment. And I was so used to getting loads of criticisms from this lady. And bad grades. I, I, uh, that was kind of like, whoa, I didn't that expect it. I was seven years old, uh, David, hard to believe. And I was, uh, I was not a good student at all. So I was in trouble. You know, this was like uh, a compliment that came out of I don't know where. But I love, though, that you grabbed on to that positive part of that compliment. Thank you. Now, what she said, I mean, she didn't always give you the positive comments, but that's the one that stuck with you from age seven throughout your you, life. You know, you're kind of right. You're kind of right, David. It's a, it's a compliment that I appreciate coming from her. I, uh, because you know what? There are so many things I'm not cut out for. But if there's anything at all that I'm drawn to wanting to do, I will do that with all of my heart uh, because I feel good about something. And, and maybe I'm just geared for one little thing and or another, even if thousands of things I'm not geared for, I'm not good at so many things uh, I, I, but you know what you're good at and that's what you focus on thank you that's what i need to do i need to do that and stay I, with I, those things i think that's a lesson for all of us to what you just said about you, we all have uh, the qualities that we're so great at and sometimes we feel like people are pushing us or or society is pushing us to a, a different way. But if we go again back to here, yes, 
in ourselves rather than trying to be what society wants us to be. David, you're right on it. That's when we'll shine, won't we? Exactly. Boy, <laughs> the way you're wording that, it's right up my alley, I have oh, to say. I love it. I, I, it thank boy, you. thank you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful connection. Here's the uh, a question. Now, we, we have another wonderful guest coming on here very soon. Oh. Uh, uh, but what, before we do that to join us, I, I do have a, a few, few more questions to ask. Um, sure. And one of the things is connected to the voice and your voice. Oh. Now, I know that even when I went to your birthday party, uh, and I know through uh, family members and all that, you do great impersonations. <laughs> oh, you're awfully kind. Could you do like, could you do two or three of your favorite ones? If you I, I think maybe we can. You know what's so funny? As I'm talking with Shorey about these impersonations, so many of them that I do are of people that aren't necessarily world famous, but they're friends of ours. And, uh, I love them too. Uh, when it comes to doing some famous people, of course, I enjoy those also. Well, <laughs> I like impersonating anybody, really. Like me? Yes, <laughs> that's right. right. I know. I haven't tried that one. Right. At least not as of yet, but I would like to. I would love it. I would love it. But you have you have several that you have done, huh? That you I think I think you might be right. Yes, I think so. Uh, golly, you know I love the Beatles, and uh, I'm a real fan of Paul McCartney. So I love, you know, doing impressions of him and and sometimes what i do is i pretend that i'm him even though i'm saying things that he's not saying but like for example i'm looking at you and i'm pretending that i'm paul and i'm thinking oh yeah you know we've got david zimmerman with us today and uh yeah he's great you know i, I really feel a connection so yeah, you know, we keep on, you know, working and sort of, you know, collaborating together. Right. And I love it. I love it too. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow, David. Oh my God, I love great. it. Great. I remember you, I remember you did Paul years ago. And then when you said Paul McCartney, I went, oh yeah. Yeah, did you ever meet Paul? I wish I could say that I did, but no, I haven't. I've Not seen him. You've seen him. Sure, in concert, and uh, oh my gosh, uh, but no, I've never ever met him. You know what, though? I met his brother one time, yeah. his brother, uh, Michael. One time, he was downtown here in San Francisco at an art gallery showing pictures of the Beatles when they were, you know, I think in their teens. And uh, it was neat to meet him. I, and I uh, started asking him if I look like his brother with a certain expression. And he and I had a picture taken together and I was trying to go like this, kind of like. <laughs> and then his brother was kind of doing that with me. And uh, that, so that was really neat. You have and, that picture still somewhere? I, you know what? I don't know what I did with it. I, I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's uh, okay. We'll forgive you. You know, I've moved, <laughs> I guess, and I don't know where things have gone, but anyhow. So he's a uh, I have a question nice guy. about what, what is a dream of yours? What is, what is a dream that you have in your life? Well, I think, uh, Doing voiceovers is one. Uh, connecting with people like yourself. And 
as far as the love aspect is concerned, I do have the dream of meeting a lovely lady and uh, eventually getting married. I love the idea of being part of a family. What is your definition of family? Well, I think, you know, growing up with my mother, my father, and my two sisters, I think it's um, all about dynamics and people being different from one another and appreciating all of those differences. That is special like it is with friends right. and everybody else that we know, people being so unique uh, and having lovely chemistry with each other, connecting, accepting each other for who they are. And uh, these are areas that I think about, yeah, yeah, you know, it's beautiful, and it's beautiful how you connected family and just went into the friends because so much of our the time, friends become our family as time goes on. And yes, sorry, that's said. yes, I think you're right. Friends also uh, kind of begin to have a feeling along those lines right. you're right well we wow. have we have one of your friends here today as oh. you know, uh, a, a, a dear uh wonderful woman who um we've had on meet the biz before and i've known her for for years now the isn't one, that amazing elaine hall elaine beautiful Hall's here <laughs> wow elaine oh gee look at you <laughs> Look at you, Steve. What fun to be here with you. Oh, it's beautiful having you around. Thank I you. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Two of my favorite people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. David Zimmerman. What a, what a great day for me. Uh, this is great. <laughs> exactly. You, you know, it's so funny. I didn't even know that you two even knew one another. It's a small world, huh? Oh, it really is. Yes, yes, yes. So Steve, so delighted to be on here with you and, and to hear all the great wisdom and joy that you're bringing. And David, always so wonderful. Your love just throws oh. off the screen. So. Oh, well, you know, I, I was, you know, I'm thinking of changing this to the love fest. <laughs> it is nice to, now, uh, the two of you, how, how, I mean, Elaine, you are you are Coach E. Um, how what made you become a life coach? What made me become a life coach is I found that the work that I was doing uh, in my classes and also my personal work, I was so full that I wanted to give back. And what I enjoy the most is guiding people to find, to see who they truly are, mm. to allow them to understand their essence and what makes them unique, and then set realistic goals so that they can achieve their heart's desire. Mm. And it's one of my greatest joys in the whole world is to, to see my, my clients and my students and Steve, thrive um, to appreciate so many especially people who are older may not know that they are neurodiverse neurodivergent we're all neurodiverse as Steve you so beautifully said we're all we're all part of this fabric of life this like yeah. a garden just like a garden has all different kinds of flowers and shapes and smells wow. that's beautiful as a human race yeah and those of us who are neurodivergent we're 
highly sensitive individuals. Uh, there's 20% of the population that's highly sensitive. And, and among wow. that, those who are, whose brains function differently. Yes. Um, my life has now been committed to, especially with those who are older, there was not a real diagnosis. We you know, just thought there was something weird or strange. And right. instead, as Steve, you so beautifully put, embracing our differences, celebrating who we are, and uh, finding all of our ability within the sort of disability that others might project. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, what, what, this is a question for both of you. What keeps you centered? You know what? I think the very things that you and Elaine are talking about are keeping me centered. Anything that that has me really being true to myself, that right there, I think would keep me quite centered with all my faults and all my quirks and what have you. Um, and certainly, Elaine just mentioned something a moment ago that I used to think as a boy growing up that I wasn't supposed to have going. And that's the sensitivity aspect. I, I thought, uh oh, I'm not supposed to be sensitive. You know, I'm a boy and look at the other boys. You know, this whole thing of boys not crying and all that but the truth is I've always been very sensitive and I was I used to feel very embarrassed about it because I thought uh oh you know this is not the way we're supposed to behave we're supposed to be strong and all of that but and I'm not like that you know what? This reminds me of my, my teacher, uh, Corey Allen, my dear friend. And he would always say, when people say, well, we're supposed to, he would say, and who supposes? <laughs> That's right. Good point. Yeah. yeah. That's right, David. Exactly. Yeah. Who yeah. And I, I think um, what keeps me centered is really how you started the class with everybody breathing. That breath, that breath of, of really being inside our bodies and that yeah. breath of life. Right. Keeps me centered, planting my feet on the ground, feeling my body, feeling my own sense of self, creating that separateness from others so that I can, like you know, Steve says, really understand and know what I'm feeling. So I know where I begin and others begin and have that sense of uh, completeness. Yes. Um, allow, not allowing negative voices to intrude. Beautiful. And, um, and I have a very strong spiritual practice, a, a connection to something greater than me and knowing, knowing my purpose and mission and uh, surrounding myself with wonderful people. I think that's important. Just like yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Is. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 to, to, to hear that, uh, I, I, I could just see us doing this, you know, dinner every, every week. Of course, that's not going to work, but um, uh, I, it's so nice to connect, like you say, to people who really, who really have that like mind. And I think. Yes. It comes from the center uh, of that word love. Um, what keeps me centered as well? And it reminded me of what you said, Steve, is that when I first got to Los Angeles, um, the one thing that I said to myself, because I heard Los Angeles was like, ah, a roller coaster ride of whatever. Right. One thing I said to myself, David, if you have to do one thing in your life is to be true to yourself exactly and it has helped me survive in this 
lovely, wonderful, crazy business in town that we're in. So yes, um, yes. You, you know what's so very interesting that you're mentioning that. Hmm. I, I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, my older sister and I were born in Los Angeles. And uh, very funny, I uh, my memories of starting my life out down there were exactly like you're describing it. I was just being so true to myself. This was as an infant, just as a little boy, as life began. And uh, I remember just, you know, looking at palm trees and uh, I know it sounds a little shallow, but uh, the feeling isn't shallow. I, uh, I was just taking life in and uh, I was being the person who I am. And it was very nice. And when I, whenever I go down there, all that kind of comes back to me again. Elaine and I touch upon that. Sometimes she'll, she'll put herself on to the screen with a background of the, the beach at Santa Monica with numerous palm trees above the sand. And I just I'm thinking, your seat. She sent you a bucket of sand too. So when you look at it, you could put your feet into the sand so you could feel it. Beautiful, David. That's right. That's another thing. Yes. In fact, speaking of the sand, uh, I was told that whenever we, we would go to the beach, I would end up getting lost. Probably because I was feeling the sand. I was walking around, maybe saying hi to people or taking in whatever was around me. But it, uh, it all began right there in Los Angeles. And uh, so I have a very special feeling. <laughs> and there's for... the beach. There's been the Oops. beach behind, uh, behind Elaine. She put the beach picture up. <laughs> oh, well, there it is. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. It was so funny. I'm looking at you for a second. Then I look at Elaine and I'm kind of zigzagging. It's like, oh. Beautiful, Elaine. Which way do I go? There you go. Oh, there's the, oh, oh there's now the. we're talking. Okay, that does it. I'm going go back to the beach after this. <laughs> oh, say that again. Oh. Let's all go to the beach after this. Yes, after this. That's right. That's right. Come down. It's, come visit me. <laughs> exactly. Well, before too long, I have a good feeling that we will. That's right, you and I were just uh, absolutely touching upon that. Maybe in the fall, if we well, can. Sounds this, great. This is a question of, for both of you as well. I mean, how, I mean, of course, Steve, you're in this reality show right now. Uh, I mean, you're both in this. Uh, the thing is, how do you, how do you tell other actors or performers or even people who aren't actors and performers, do you have any suggestions for anyone who wants to be on a reality show? You know what? I think, David, that the very things that you and I, along with Elaine, are discussing are exactly the things I would like to convey to everybody. Basically, don't change, be yourself. You're just beautiful the way you are. I do feel that about all these people. They're great. People that come up and say hello to us. Oh, they're lovely. And we end up having lengthy conversations organic, I get that word from Elaine, but I'm beginning to realize a lot of these things happen organically. Our conversation today is going organically and I really love it because it just happens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, Steve, you summed it up so perfectly. 
it's a great time right now in the neurodivergent and disability community because not only reality shows, but a TV and film and theater are looking for and hiring individuals who experience the world differently, whether neurodivergent or um, have a disability. There's authentic casting. There's yes. wonderful shows like Love on the Spectrum. I just got back from New York and there's gonna be two Broadway shows that feature neurodivergent. Wow. Yes, I was invited to one rehearsal, which was wonderful and very tick, tick, boom. Um, <laughs> they're like, um, but anyway, um, so the message of being yourself for reality shows, be just like Steve said, be bold, be authentic. Don't hold back because they're looking for you. They are looking for you and to all yes. of your um, students here and participants. Um, it's really important to, uh, for reality to be yourself and yes. to get out there and let yourself be seen. Yes. And I also wanna say for TV, film and theater, it's really essential to study your craft, to really learn. Like that's why um, David, your, your program is so important. Yes. And that you're training so it's not, if you want to be an actor, you need, to, you need to train, you need to study, you need to learn and, and really grow so that when you are on that set or in that audition, you are ready. And you couldn't have a better teacher and, um, than, than David to, to guide you that way. So always be looking for opportunities to learn and get stronger. And no matter what, no matter what you learn, always be yourself that's correct because they're looking for you i get so many casting calls a day literally i'm helping to cast a couple of things right now and it's because they haven't found the right person so always be ready always be ready and i actually know a couple of your your the participants in here too yes in fact that you brought up some of the participants i, I know that a, a, several people have uh, are either raising their hands or, or they, they wrote in. And I'm going to start off with uh, uh, some questions about from Shannon Dierex, who I've known for, what, 25 years now. Uh, it's like you, we're talking about family, extended family here. Shannon Dierex. Hey. <laughs> okay, here's the question for, um. let me see. Okay. Okay, I got two questions. Okay, one's for Steve and one for Elaine. Okay. Okay, Steve, what is your very voice character? Oh boy. Uh I like um Walter Brennan from The Real McCoys. I like the way he speaks. Uh, gosh, John Wayne is another one. Um, gosh, so many. And uh, I guess they're all kind of like different characters to me. You know, they're some of them are like heroes, mm. but but even still, they are. They really are characters. They have their own charisma. Right. And they're unique. Every individual is like that. Boy, I, I guess if I were to think further, I, I'm quite certain I would find a way to come up with more of them. Right. So many nice uh, voices out there. Yeah, definitely. And we we take them all in. They become a part of us, huh? Yes, exactly, David. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've got we yeah. And I got a question for Elaine. What it what is it like working the miracle project? Oh, thank you, Shannon. Yes. 
Uh, I founded the Miracle Project and it's a theater and film and um, friendship making uh, program. And what I, what it's like is I get to be with my favorite people. I get to be with students like you, like, like Luke, who I know, and like Ranjini, who I know. And um, I get to be with people that uh, we sing, we dance, we act, we learn how to be professional actors on TV. And then I life coach as well. So thank you for asking me. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned, uh, I was going to say one of my family members, but we're not related by blood, but <laughs> by last name, Mr. Luke Zimmerman. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Hey. Yeah, I got um, two questions from Elaine and Steve. The first question to you, Elaine, how you get Miracle Project started? How did I get Miracle Project started? What a great question. Yeah. Well, I've got to say that right around now, 18 years ago, 18 years ago, I wrote a grant to the Jewish Community Foundation because I had a vision of using the arts, music, dance, and drama to connect with people. And I wanted to create a group that had both those with and without disabilities writing and creating their own musical. I it see that. It was an well, idea. How you, how you get the people in Namu? How is that people in Nah, well, Luke, Luke was one of the stars. He played the mayor in a, um, an original film that we created called Journey to Namu. Mm -hmm. And Luke was fabulous. And uh, people sign up, or actually for that class, it's the professional class. So we, we, um, it's by invitation only, Luke. And, uh, but we have all kinds of other classes at the Miracle Project. But it's fun working with you, Ina. You're the best. In a cult uh, of my heart. And to you, Steve, what is your favorite Beatle the whole time? You know, they're all, I love them all. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a real uh, connection with Paul McCartney. I, I, I've been getting a lot of his records. Uh, uh, after the Beatles broke up, I love them all, even on their own, with their solo careers, of course. Uh, but I've been getting a lot of Paul McCartney records and following him. But I, I follow some of the others, too. I, I had some of yeah. their records. Yeah, They're me all... too. Yeah, me too. My favorite one whole time is Sean Lennon. The oh, greatest. I see. oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's great. Guy. No question about it. Yes. And so is Harris. Yes. Also very great. And I agree with me you. For now. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys. Thank we you. love you. It's great to see you again. That's right. Steve came to class. So he saw, That's he met right. you in class, Luke. That's right. Thank you, Elaine. I love it. I didn't realize it until I got to just see. And here, right, right, our great friend. We have the lovely Ashley Anderson here right now. She has a couple of questions. Hi, Ashley. Hi. So, what questions do you have today? Were you, were you nervous, filming that? Show love on this picture. Yes, for Steve, right? Were you nervous? Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I'm so very glad that you're asking that question. Do you know something? Believe this or not, and I understand why one would think that I would be nervous. Uh, I think that the crew, the, the lovely people that did all the work are so warm 
and so accepting of me. And they bring out a special feeling that allows me to be the person who I am. And it just sort of begins to flow, uh, believe it or not. Uh, they really make me feel at home with this whole thing, amazingly so. And in fact, what's really unusual is that the majority of the time, I wasn't even thinking that there were cameras around me mm. and or the fact that there was a little microphone tucked into the uh, right side of my t-shirt. I wasn't even thinking about those things. I was just conversing, answering questions, and being as real as I possibly could. And it kind of reminds me of what all of us are doing today. It's sort of not really planned out that much. It's just happening through everyone who's conversing with us back and forth. It sounds like what the way I teach and also live my life is being in the moment. Yes, yes. Thank you, David. This is exactly what Elaine is helping me with. Living in the present. Because, you know, it's easy to kind of dwell on the past and or sometimes think about how are things going to go into the future. Uh, but you know what? Living in the present is a great thing if we can do it. I can feel it along with all of you. I want to be able to have this feeling continue. <laughs> right? Just yes. Absolutely. Great question, Ashley. Ashley, you also had a this. question for Elaine. What try you to do what you do? What a beautiful question, Ashley. Thank yes. you. What drives me to do what I do are people like you. Oh. And love. And I feel that I'm put on the planet to bring out the best in both myself and others. Beautiful. And that's my mission. Excellent. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Again. Um, you had mentioned um, uh, another wonderful name that we both know, uh, and uh, I am searching for her now. Where is she? There she is, Ranjani Reyes. Hey! Hey, Ranjani. Hey, we're from my favorite coach ever. Oh, <laughs> so good to see you, Ranjani. You too, Elaine. Wonderful. Uh, I, it's my favorite person, both of you. <laughs> so, how you feel being um the Emmy Awards react to nomination of yourself? How you feel about the nomination nominate yourself? You know, I'm very glad you're asking because this aspect is very new, brand spanking new. I, I don't think I've been able to completely take it all in as of yet. Uh, but I have to say that uh, the people that run that show do a wonderful job and they deserve loads of credit they really really do and i feel that the casting is very nice everybody that's on the show i have show ray with me today yep show ray <laughs> there she is 
Beautiful. Hello, oh, hello. Oh. Hi, everyone. I've been here listening. It's so wonderful. I can't tell you. It's so beautiful. Continue, please. It really is uh, beyond words, a very beautiful experience. And uh, I know that all the people that are on it are very special to me, including Show Ray. My friend Stan, and I really feel a special connection with Kian, who is able to really bring out what's real inside of me. And I remember the first time I met him on Zoom, I felt a very nice connection with him. And then when I was able to meet him in actuality, there we go and it continues mm -hmm. and i i think that also that um the editing is very great a lot of people that approach shore and i will talk about the filming of san francisco and they really do a super job on that as well and as far as um, reality shows in general, this, without a doubt, is very real. That's why I think it feels so natural. Nothing is really uh, scripted. In other words, there's... Uh, we're just being our self. We're being our selves. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. We really are. And uh, that's what I need to do. I'm going to do whatever I can, absolutely, to continue with that feeling, like all of us are doing right, right along this point. Then red carpet, what are you going to wear in an Emmy or Emmy red carpet outfit? Oh, is that uh, the red carpet? Yeah, an Emmy red carpet. <laughs> what, are gonna, what are you going to wear? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, no. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a, thank you. That's a great question. You know what? I hate so to admit. We we don't know yet. You know if if um, we really don't know yet, and it's a great question. And we'll when we find if we, because we're not sure if we're going or not. Um, I can respond. I did go to the Emmys in two thousand and eight because a film that I was in called Autism the Musical. Oh yeah, I saw it on HBO. Yeah, so I got to go on a red carpet and I think I was sort of like Steve. I, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know what was happening. So I can really relate to Steve. And now I was just thinking I'm really honored because now I've been in two Emmy nominated shows. <laughs> and... Uh, I piggyback what, um, yes, that's right. Lexi is an autism musical, that's right. Uh, and I piggyback what, um, what Steve had said that it's an incredible crew and production team from Soup to Nuts. They are kind, authentic, respectful. Thank and you. if any people deserve uh, Emmys, I think, yeah. I also want to do a plug for a show that was not nominated, but is an incredible show called As We See It. And uh -huh. David, you and I can talk about that on another time. But if any of you get a chance to see the show, the Amazon show, As We See It, um, it's a, a beautiful show also starring many actors um, who are neurodiverse and background actors who have disabilities. So um, a little, little shameless plug for... Another thing that Hollywood is doing right today. That's why you put me in a politician. That makes me so happy. Uh, That's right. That's right. Thank you, Ron Johnny. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I'm gonna, oh, how beautiful. Uh, wow. We uh, have we have a, a, a blast from the past for you, Steve, oh. um, to say a, a little say hello. Um, uh, Sherry Deschler. Oh my gosh. I, oh my goodness gracious. Wow, Sherry. I can't <laughs> believe this. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm 14, 13. No, we were older than that. We were in high school. <laughs> you know what? We were, you know what? Technically, you're correct. But you know what's so funny? I didn't know back then, even though we were, we met at Presidio Junior High School, I yeah. think that the ninth grade is considered to be high school. And, um, uh, the the grades that uh, the grade point average that was used for college included ninth grade at Presidio Junior High School, and okay. that's where I met you. Yep. And I just I think this is just amazing. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. But so do you. And Heidi told me about your show. You remember Heidi? Heidi Spiegelman. Yeah, Heidi told me about the show, so I watched it here in oh. France. And then David, I saw David's post that you were doing this Zoom, and so I wrote to David saying, "But I grew up with Steve. I know Steve." You're and right. David, did you send him the picture? Well, I didn't send him the picture, but right now oh. I have it for you all. <laughs> Look. Uh Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my, God, look at <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you remember that? Uh, you know what? I think I do, Sherry. That was at your home. Yeah, it was the confirmation ball. You took me to the confirmation ball. Yes, uh, this is the. Please send a copy to uh, us. Please <laughs> send a copy. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you know, now the confirmation ball. Was that from uh, the synagogue? Yeah, yeah, Temple Emmanuel. That's it. That's it. You. That's right. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. I can't believe this. Yeah. You know, I remember uh, when Shorey mentioned something about a confirmation ball. I said, I said, gee, you know, I remember Sherry very well. But I said, a confirmation ball. I said, I. I might have, but I didn't know. But now that you showed you have that the picture, picture to thank prove you, it. David. <laughs> <laughs> the, the proof is in the picture. That's right. Oh my God. But there's, I have loads of pictures of you at our home because mom did a party for the confirmation ball. I was looking in high school yearbooks. Well, I was looking at a high school yearbook the other day. There's a candid picture of you in there. Um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Oh my gosh, I, you know, wow, Sherry, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> when Shorey mentioned your name yesterday, just hearing your name, I'm thinking, wow, I can't believe it <laughs> that you're connecting with us. And yeah. wow, you're right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> like I just met you. <laughs> Well, yeah, and everyone told me that you didn't, you know, you weren't on Facebook and you didn't, you know, so anyway, if you want to send via David an email address, and that way we can stay in touch. Yes. Okay. What do you think of that? Uh, that sounds great. Yes. You know, it's so funny. This is Show Ray. You want to laugh when we go someplace because the name Show Ray is not easy for everybody to pronounce. Yeah. Show Ray will the person perhaps a barista at a coffee shop will ask and what's the name for the order and shory will say sherry <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh makes it easier it does it makes it easier yeah. it's a pretty yeah. name both Thank names you. are beautiful <laughs> You ladies are unreal. I can't believe you're here with us, uh, Sherry. This is wow. yes, yes, dynamite. Yeah, just amazing. You know. Yeah. How All right, wonderful. We will, we will see you very soon, Sherry. 
yeah, I'll see you soon. And so you give, we'll do contacts and um, definitely keep that going. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Take care. Thank you, Sherry. Ciao. You do the very same. We'll continue. Of course. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. I love it. Yes. Well, I, 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 you know, I love surprises. I like, uh, I love, love the connection that we all have. I, I want to thank both, both Elaine and you. And I, I had one last question to throw out to, to both of you. And then we'll uh, say adieu. The question that I ask is uh, from Corey Allen's class. What do you want the most at this moment in your life? You know, I think I just want this moment of connection with all of you to continue. I'm getting lovely thoughts and or ideas from each and every one of you today. And more goodies are coming into my mind as we all converse. Thank you. I want to thank all of you. This is great. Really. Wow. And love to get together with you again soon. Definitely. Both of you. All of you. <laughs> there uh, we go. I love it. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, David. And uh, what I what I would love is more times that all of us can be our authentic selves and yes. allow love and strength and truth yes. to, be, to be the norm. Yes. And if that can happen, then our world can be a much more peaceful, peaceful place. So I wish for all of you wow. love and strength and authenticity. Thank you. Exactly, Elaine. I'm right with you. I'm right with all of you. Well, to end this all up, we're going to just get a group shot here. We'll uh, remove the spotlights and we'll do the gallery. And then on the count of three, we're all going to Smile. <laughs> oh, okay. you have a great one. Thanks. So does Elaine. I know, right? All that right, everybody. So right. One, two, three. All right. Steve Spitz and Elaine Hall. Mwah. Thank mm. you. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, David. Thank you so much. Oh, it was oh our boy. Our this joy. is great. We look forward to continuing. Yes, yes. Bye for Love now. You. Bye. Okey doke. Bye. But bye now, everybody. One, two, three, four.